Okay, chapter two, section eight, literal equations. If I take if I take the equation two x plus eight equals twelve, how do I solve it? Anybody? How do I solve it? Subtract eight from each side. Okay, so I get 2x equals 4, and then what? Anybody? Divide, Divide both sides by 2. Okay. No problem, right? So now, and we, some of us saw this on the quiz on Friday. What if they're not all numbers what if there's more than one variable there's two things I could solve for here what are the two things I could solve for X or Y the book will tell you which one it wants you to solve for so let's say they want us to solve for Y so what am I gonna do in relationship to the Y what am I gonna do Okay, but do I want to move the 2 or do I want to move the 2x? I want to move the whole thing. So I'm going to subtract 2x because I want to get the y by itself. Now, you have to be very careful here. What's left on the left-hand side of the equal sign? Negative y. And R12 and minus 2x, are those like terms? No. No. So what's left over there? 12 minus, 12 minus 2x. I can't put them together. So am I done? No. No. What do I have to do now? And you have to divide by, uh, negative divide or uh, multiply. multiply. I need to divide or multiply both sides by negative 1 because I don't want to know what negative y is. I want to know what y is. So I like to multiply because I'm a bigger fan of multiplying instead of dividing. So what's negative 1 times negative y? 1y. I'm just going to put y. Now, what property do you see on the right-hand side? distributive. I've got a number outside of parentheses, so everything inside of that parentheses has to be multiplied by negative 1. So what's negative 1 times 12? Negative 12. And what's negative 1 times negative 2x? Positive 2x. Okay, be very careful, bless you, on the signs. All right. Not a big deal, just have multiple variables, but we're only going to solve for one. What if the whole thing is variables? Uh, let's use M. Hey, what if the whole thing is variables and there's no numbers? Number one, they're going to have to ask you what to solve for. So, okay, hold on. Pick, pick a variable other than M. Y. y. Pick one other than Y. Z. Z? Awesome. Good choice. Okay. So we're going to solve for Z. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll tell kids to highlight the Z. And that way you know everything else has to be moved away. So what do I have to move away? The X and the... Why don't I have to move the M? Because it's already over there. It's already on the other side. Okay, so X is connected. Y is farthest away. Which one do we move first? The Y. How do I move a negative Y to the other side? Add Y to both sides. Now, we're not spelling here. Okay, so this isn't going to be xz equals my. All right, we are just adding. 
And how do I take m plus y? Are they like terms? No. no. So how do I write m plus y? m plus y. Okay. One more step. If divide by to where? Anytime I what? Both sides. Okay. So I divide both sides by x. And so those cancel. So I'm left with z equals m plus y all over x. That's it. There's no numbers. It's not going to come out to be x equals 4. It's not going to come out to be z equals 7. Okay. There's going to be a lot of variables on, on both sides. How about that one? What is that? Circumference. Okay, circumference equals 2 pi times the radius. All right, so we're going to solve for r. Okay, we're going to solve for r. Give it a shot. Take a couple minutes. Okay, circumference equals 2 pi radius. What are 2 pi and the radius doing side by side? Multiplying. multiplying. What's the opposite of multiplication? What can I divide by? You can divide by the entire 2 pi in one shot to both sides. Okay, anytime I have multiplication, I just divide 2 pi over 2 pi, cancels itself out on the right side. And I'm left with radius equals circumference over 2 pi. Sure, wondering. Okay, S, uh, 7h plus f equals 2h plus g, and we want to solve for g. Okay, so take a couple of minutes and try that one. Okay, first step. Yes, sir. Why do you subtract 2h? Because you want, well, but you want to move the entire 2h to the other side, correct? And because it's a positive 2h, I'm going to subtract it, and I'm going to get off of highlighter. I talk to myself a lot. It's okay. And I'm going to put it under the 7h, because I do have like terms over there. H's are the same. So what's 7h minus 2h? 5h, and what do we have left on the right-hand side? G. Just g. It's positive. It's exactly the way we want it. It's all by itself. We're done. Okay. Combine like terms if you have them. If not, just put them side by side. All right. That's 2-8 solving literal equations.